Hi, my name is Catherine. I am a public information officer for the Alabama Department of Transportation. A typical day for me, uh, my hours are usually Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. And in those hours, I do a lot and a lot of writing. I write press releases, uh, I write the company newsletter, I write emails back and forth with engineers and contractors, I answer letters from the public. Um, and, and the other parts of my day, t I try and uh, go out to various project sites. Um, we have construction sites all over um, 10 counties. I try to get out there and see what's going on um, for a couple of reasons. One, I like to take pictures and provide updates for our uh, social media. And then the other reason I do that is so for my own knowledge, so when people call me and ask questions about things, I can give them an up-to-date answer on what's going on. Um, like I said, typically Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, but there are going to be times when my hours are dramatically different, and that is during special events, like um, you know, if there's a hurricane or a flood or an ice storm, uh, or occasionally we'll have a, a traffic accident that might shut down an interstate. Um, when that happens, I'm working around the clock. I have to coordinate with our engineers uh, to get information out to the media, and the media will call you at 3 a.m. if they have a question. I mean, they when, they when they want answers, they will not hesitate to call you, and it's my job to get them the most information that I can. Um, so that's pretty much what my job looks like day to day. In general, public information officers distribute information to the public. So I work for the Alabama Department of Transportation. My job is to get information like uh, what's going on with a construction project, when there's going to be lane closures, things like that. It's my information to distribute that to the public. Uh, the other side of that, uh, being a PIO as we call it, is we um, the public sends us questions and it's our job to uh, relay to them the answers. Um, people asking about when a project is going to be done or why, it's, why this is happening. We're the person that they call um, to get those answers from. My advice for someone that's looking to get into the public information field or PR field is during your college career, take as many writing classes as you can. Uh, classes that were helpful for me would have been magazine writing and uh, editing. Uh, you'll use those classes every day. Um, in addition, there are other classes that fall under the communications umbrella, uh, like media law. Uh, you will be surprised how many legal questions you get on a, on a weekly basis about what you should include or what you shouldn't include. Um, additionally, uh, graphic design. Um, I had in, in one of my college classes, I had a Photoshop. You know, I learned Photoshop and InDesign, and I use those every day. Uh, you might consider working on a degree in communications, whether it be with an emphasis in public relations or journalism. Uh, additionally, if, you, if there is something like biology or um, engineering that you have a passion for, I would encourage you to uh, take classes in that field because if you go on to work uh, as a PR person for an engineering firm or a laboratory, your knowledge of the subject will be uh, incredibly useful. I would say for best and worst parts of my job, uh, one of the best things about my job is I have a lot of freedom on a daily basis to decide what, what my schedule is going to be, uh, what I'm going to work on, what kinds of things I can get started that's going to help the company. Um, and I really enjoy that kind of, uh, like I said, freedom to, to do what I want. This job is especially great if you're a self-starter. Um, there's just infinite possibilities. Um, for what you can do. I, it's also nice when you're working really hard on, on, a, on a story, you're, you're helping a news person get what they want, and then you watch it on TV and it's just this great, you know, they got all the information right, your engineers look good, um, it, it just ALDOT comes out looking good, and it's something you can be proud of. Uh, the other side of, of that, things when things don't go so well, is maybe uh, you're getting a call from the media and you know that they're going to take a negative angle on a story. You know that they're going to be talking about 
one of your bridges that you know, they think is in need of repair and you're walking into the fire knowing that it, it's it's it could be bad but my job is to give them the information they ask for um, whether um, I wish they were doing the story or not uh, and then an, another part that can be difficult is I am the liaison between the public and the engineers so part of my job is helping the engineers uh, put information in terms that the public is going to understand uh, and and also um, relaying information from the public back to the engineers. And a lot of times there can be uh, frustration on both sides. People don't understand what's going on. Um, engineers not understanding why people don't understand what's going on. Uh, and you're kind of caught in the middle trying, you have to be very diplomatic uh, to both sides. Uh, and some days it's harder than others. Um, but that would, so I would emphasize uh, on days like that you really, just have to take a deep breath and, and move forward. My advice for anyone that's thinking about a job in public relations is to remember that there are a lot of people out there right now that are trying to get public relations jobs. Uh, the, the job market is very competitive, so you really need to be thinking about skills that you can acquire and, and things that make you stand out from the crowd. Uh, one thing that really helped me was um, I had a lot I could put on my resume. I mean, I had writing experience, I had social media experience, I had video editing experience, I had photography to photography experience, um, and I wasn't. I'm not an expert at any of them, but being able to do lots of little things uh, really comes in handy. And another thing that that helped me get a job was I kept a uh, personal blog of my travels. And I actually use that. Um, I put, you know, the link to that on my resume, and, and uh, you know, prospective employers actually read it, and I, I got a job because of it. I mean, if you can show that that writing and doing the stuff is something that you like to do, that you have ideas about it, I think you'll be a, a really a, appealing uh, employee for future uh, and future job opportunities. Um, I, I would also stress that you really need to be somewhat comfortable with public speaking. The jobs all vary in the amount of public speaking that you might have to do, but some of these uh, PIOs are spokespeople, and you see them on TV every time something's going on. So uh, if, if, if it's something you're nervous about, I would encourage you to, to take a media training class um, and just or a storytelling class and, and get up there and start getting used to talking in front of crowds. Um, it'll help you uh, in, in really whatever job that you, that you choose to apply for.